All right, what's going on, y'all? So with training camp not too far away, um, we got there, there's a few stories that uh, I am kind of interested in observing and seeing how they kind of play themselves out. You know what I mean? And one of them is uh, from one of our rookie class. Basically, uh, there were talks that the rookie class performed really well in OTAs, which is very encouraging. And I am interested to see how they will perform during training camp and how they will perform with pads and in like a preseason game setting because I kind of have I'm really kind of expecting to see some good things from this class from like a bunch of players from this class if not almost all of them so and one of them is uh the Kobe Durant and apparently he uh our our corner our starting cornerback Jalen Ramsey has uh, taken him under his wing. Taking him under his wing. There he is right there. I believe that is Kendrick uh, standing right next to him from Georgia. And uh, um, very excited about these two. I think these two can uh, can provide, can be good uh, like reserve role players. And I actually, I have high hopes. I think they'll, I think they'll do well. I do. I think they'll do well. So let's go ahead and get into this here. One of the benefits of being a cornerback who's drafted by the Rams is the opportunity to play with Jalen. He established himself as the best corner, um, and every young defensive back can learn a lot from him. Jacoby Durant, who the Rams drafted in the fourth round, is already realizing that just a few months into his Los Angeles tenure, the former South Carolina State CB has been taken under Ramsey's wing, learning a lot from number five in their brief time together. Okay, see now this is interesting. This is interesting. Here's a quote, and it's quoted, He has taught me how to dial in when I'm on the field. Durant said, this is Durant, uh, and he was on HBCU game day. Uh, the quote continues, He has taken me under his wing and taught me a lot. I'm lucky to have him take the time to mentor me in my first season. Okay, that is interesting. It's interesting. It's a so so Jalen might see some uh might see some potential in uh in Dakobe. That's that's a good sign. That's that's a good sign that he would take the time to go out of his way to uh kind of take him under his wing and kind of show him the ropes more or less, is a really good sign and a good indicator that the Kobe might be pretty good. And with proper coaching and uh, enough practice time, he could probably be a, a good contributor for us. Most likely, probably as a slot cornerback, I would say. But I do not know. Uh, we'll... That just remains to be seen. So, we'll see. But, continuing on, Durant is a player that the Rams loved in the draft, despite the fact that he went to a smaller school and didn't accumulate much experience against top-tier players. His performance against Clemson, however, really stood out to Les Need and Sean after he came down with two interceptions. He had a very... That was a good game for him. That was a good game for him. Uh, he's a confident cornerback, which is essential at that position, so he fully believes he can compete at the highest level with the Rams, as he should. Whether he starts right away is uh, another question. The Rams have Ramsey and Troy Hill as the two starters, with David Long likely stepping in as the nickel corner. Uh, Durant could overtake Long for that spot, especially given Long's struggles at times last season but the Rams are likely to give Durant the necessary time to develop before getting thrown into action. And um, that's kind of what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe, 
Uh, he'd be David's David Long's replacement. You know, not to not to throw shade or disappoint you, David. It's just how these things go. You know, it's um, if the teams, you know, they they uh, draft a few players, go through a few years, and if they're able to replace a player with a younger player uh, that they can draft several years later. Um, that is an ideal situation from a front office standpoint because they would ideally get the same kind of production if that younger player is good and they pay him less money. And uh, that is unfortunately how things go sometimes. And I am thinking per... Unless David comes out like a house of fire. If David Long did improve towards the end of the season, but, he, uh, you know, he, he did struggle throughout the season. You know, I, I got frustrated a little bit with his play from time to time, but he did he did improve. Like, I have to give him that. He did, like, during the playoff run, I thought he played a lot better. And, you know, if he comes out here and uh, locks it down, that will keep him on the team. It'll keep Durant... Uh, in kind of a redshirt kind of backup role where he's learning. So that would be the goal for David. If, uh, you know, if I knew him and that is probably, that's uh, ideal. I, that's probably what's going to happen, unfortunately. Sorry. That's just what I feel. Durant could be his replacement. And... But that, that's going to depend on David, and it's going to depend on uh, Kobe. So we'll see. Either way, it's um, it should be an interesting training camp. There is a lot. There's going to be a lot of new stuff for us because we are the Super Bowl champions now, and we are going into a season as the champions where we have a large target on our back, and it's going to be different viewing it as well. It's, it's, it's going to be kind of a trip. Because everyone's going to give us their best shot. And we have to be ready for it. Well, more or less. The players and the coaches have to be ready for it. We have to be ready for it from a fan's perspective. And one of the inter interesting things to watch is going to be how this rookie class performs. And depending on how well they perform will help us, help elevate us into possibly... Uh, repeating as champions, running it back as you will, because um, last year our backup result reserve players uh, were the difference in our playoff run. And if we are going to repeat again, it's yeah. our younger players are going to have to step up when it matters most. When it matters most, and you get that way by putting in the work in training camp. So. This this is going to be interesting. I'm very excited for this training camp. I think, I, th I think I think we're going to have a hell of a team. So that's gonna that's gonna do it for now. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Go Rams!